To create an Oracle connection in Query Surge, there are two main steps. The first is to make sure that the drivers are installed, and the second is to create the connection in the Query Surge app. To install the drivers, you can use the Query Surge setup wizard. After starting the wizard, first accept the Query Surge license agreement. Then choose your installation directory. You'll then be prompted to select the components that you'd like to install. In this scenario, I already have Query Surge installed and would like to only install an agent with the drivers. I am then presented with a list of bundled drivers that are available for me to install. I will be installing the Oracle driver. To use the Oracle driver, you will need to accept the license agreement from Oracle to continue. After this, everything is ready to be installed by clicking Next. Once the installation is complete, I can now create the new Oracle connection using the Query Surge web application. First, log into the application as an admin. To add a new connection, click on the Administration menu and select the Add Connection option. This will open the connection wizard. Next, a name needs to be given to this connection. This will be the name used for this connection throughout Query Surge. Then, the connection type must be chosen. There are three different Oracle drivers to choose from, depending on the version of Oracle you have installed. For 11G, you will need to select the TNS keyword value syntax. For Oracle 10G and below, it is recommended to choose the thin JDBC old syntax. Once the driver has been selected, the driver class string is automatically populated. Next, you will need to specify the server address, which can either be the IP address of the server or the qualified domain name. The correct port must also be specified. Finally, the default database must be filled in, along with the username and password for the Oracle server. Once all of the connection information has been populated, it will be displayed for review. If all of the information is correct, you can test the connection by clicking the Test Connection button. If the connection test passes, the settings are correct and the new connection can be saved. It will now appear in the connections list and can be selected when creating or editing query pairs. And that's it, we've successfully created an Oracle connection in Query Search.